Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm back with another video of software defined radio application which actually deals with ADSB, which is automatic uh, dependent surveillance broadcast. Uh, this is standard is being used for air traffic control and whenever uh, an airplane flies it actually sends an unencrypted beacon to air traffic control tower which actually gives a longitude, latitude, and a flight number, and the speed, and all of that information to air traffic control tower. As per the standard, this information is normally unencrypted. So in this video, what we're going to do, we're going to actually try to capture that information and, and so, we can, so we can see it. For that purpose, I'm using my RTLSDR dongle. If you can clearly see, this is connected to my PC and uh, I'm using a an ADSB antenna which is also connected to that as well uh, this is an antenna which I recently received so a uh, couple of things that you need in order for you to achieve this task is first GNU radio uh, so for GNU radio I have made several videos on how to install it uh, especially for Mac uh, so you can just simply go ahead and install GNU Radio Companion. Once you have your GNU Radio Companion installed, uh, just simply open your terminal. And I want to show you a couple of things. Uh, uh, just go to your terminal. Normally, the way the, the, uh, the, the way I taught you to install GNU Radio Companion, it's through Radio Conda. So once you Google Radio Conda, so just simply go open up your terminal, type ls, and you will see a Radio Conda file right here. Just simply go there, CD Radio Conda, and go to CD bin. Simply go to bin folder and ls, and look at the content in this folder. So once you have your RTLSDR dongle connected, look for. So once you install GNU Radio, everything comes pre-compiled. The way I showed you to install it, everything comes pre-compiled. Same thing for Linux, same thing goes for your uh, Mac OS, and same thing goes for your Windows. There is a file that you are interested in seeing, which is RTL ADSB. All right? This is, comes pre-compiled once you download GNU Radio and install it. This file will be there in that Radio Conda folder. And you need to go to the bin folder, it will be there. So just simply type uh, period forward slash RTL ADSB. All right. Now, as you can see, this is start running and you're getting some information in terms of hexadecimal. There's nothing fancy about this information. You won't be able to tell what's there in that information. So in order for you to see and actually find out all the flight information that your antenna, which is this, is seeing, uh, you need to download a tool called Dump1090. So go to your browser and type in Dump1090. It will take you, a, uh, take you to a GitHub page, uh, the first link, just simply go here. Meanwhile, I'm just going to simply control Z, close this, and I will go back to my home folder, which is CD tilde. So I'm back here. So once you on that GitHub page, there there's a couple of things you need to download. First of all, let me just populate this page real quick. So it will tell you how to actually use this for I don't know for Linux or for 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 Linux and for MATLAB for Mac OS is quite simple. All you need to do is just simply download this file and run these three commands. All right. You need to go to your GitHub page, type this, copy this, copy this. Go to your terminal and simply paste this and right in front of that git clone. So what it will do, it will download this file. I'm just going to simply show you git clone. So in front of that link, just simply type 
git clone and let's hit enter. I'm going to stop this because this thing is already exist. So I have already downloaded that. Once you have downloaded that file, go to that folder. So right now, let's say I have downloaded this file dump 190, 1090. This is I have downloaded. I'm going to go CD. I'm going to go into that folder dump 1090. Once you go into that folder, once you have downloaded that, and you went to that folder and then simply type make make what it will do it will actually compile everything for you once you have done it just look at the content of these folders these are the files which are going to be there for you all right dump 1090 all of these files are going to be there for you next step you need to do is this in order for you to run this just simply type period forward slash and all the instructions are there just go here and type this all right so we're gonna simply type this or we're gonna copy this and I'm gonna simply paste it here so now what it will do all that stuff that you are getting in hexadecimal form now you will see in hexadecimal you will see an interactive format of that so just simply hit enter make sure you have your RTLSDR dongle which is connected and let's just hit enter okay i'm getting this error why because previously i have run the same command so i'm just going to reinsert my dongle i'm going to remove my dongle and i'm going to reinsert my dongle so my dongle is reinserted now i'm going to rerun this command again now it will take this and it will show me a window like this it would give me some hexadecimal value it will give me some flight information it will give me some altitude information, speed information, latitude, longitude, track, when when is the last time this airplane can be seen and stuff like that. So all of that information would be present once this start receiving antenna. Of course, uh, it will take some time because I'm working indoors. But when I take this outside, this would start populating it. As soon as I start this antenna, I start seeing different type of uh, uh, uh uh, different uh, when it starts seeing different airplanes this will start populating itself you will see a flight number you will see an altitude speed latitude longitude all that information will be there so we'll just wait for this all right uh, so basically what have I done I have taken my uh, laptop outside just to, to see something so this is the information that you're seeing uh, this is some of the information now everything is gone because I'm back in indoor uh, if I have this antenna which is might be connected to a long wire and it might be sticking out I'll be able to see a better signal so then just once you are on that github page just simply click here localhost it will take you to Google map and you'll be able to identify the planes and 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 other things like that so I hope you like this small tutorial on dump 1090 how you can track airplanes and how you can uh, see that information which is coming from the uh, from the airplane and and stuff like that so um, if you have any questions leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel